The American dream is dead, mass corporate layoffs, and foreclosure fears. Today, I read an article on CNBC.com written by Ashton Jackson titled, 41% say the American dream is impossible to reach now, survey finds. How they define success instead. The author of this article referenced a recent survey of 8,700 adults from the Pew Research Center. 41% of these respondents said an equality of social and economic opportunity was once possible for people to achieve, but it isn't anymore. The author went on to say, more U.S. adults are living paycheck to paycheck now than in 2023, according to a separate survey conducted by SurveyMonkey. This is because of looming debt, inflation, and lack of savings. Well, my friends, I understand how these people feel, but I don't think the American dream is impossible. It may require more work, sacrifice, and strategy than in the past. A friend of mine came to America from India. He didn't speak English. He had no money. He started working as a dishwasher. Then he got a job working at a truck stop gas station. After learning about what truck drivers do, he decided to get a CDL license and start working as a truck driver. Then he started to learn how to work on his semi-truck. Eventually, he was able to buy more semi-trucks. Now, he owns a fleet of approximately 60 semi-trucks and he has two repair shops to service all of them. He still works seven days a week from sunup to sundown. If someone isn't able to experience the American dream, perhaps he or she is pursuing the wrong dream. They may want to try something else. There is no shame in failure. Just don't give up. Thomas Edison once talked to a reporter about the light bulb. He told the reporter he did not fail 10,000 times. He successfully found 10,000 ways the light bulb will not work. Many people don't have the drive to succeed. Getting back to this article, the author referenced a Harvard government professor named Michael Sandel, who said a college degree doesn't hold as much weight as it used to, especially for lower income students. Here are my thoughts. A college degree is not necessarily a ticket to attaining the American dream. You need to select the right major and then have a plan to pursue a career that is in demand. You also need to spend just as much time focusing on making good contacts as pursuing the education. You need solid references and you need to make contact with people in the field that you are interested in so they can keep you apprised of opportunities. Just graduating with a random degree isn't going to guarantee fame and fortune. I'm not sure all young people understand that, but what do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've reported a lot lately about layoffs. Here's some more bad news. I read this story on CNBC.com written by Michael Wayland, titled, Stellantis laying off 2,450 plant workers due to discontinuation of Ram Classic pickup truck. According to the author, Stellantis will indefinitely lay off up to 2,450 U.S. plant workers in Warren, Michigan later this year as it discontinues production of an older version of its Ram 1500 pickup. These layoffs are expected to start as soon as October. Here are my thoughts. First, my heart goes out to these people who are being laid off. I hope they have a well-funded emergency account to rely on. You never know how long it might take to find a new job. I worked at a factory after high school. Some factory workers don't have the skills that allow them to pivot to other careers. If you run a very specific machine that is used to manufacture a Ram pickup truck, that's your specialty. There may not be a need for that skill set at another factory, and another factory may not be hiring. If you are a plumber with a license and you get laid off, you could get a job as a plumber somewhere else. You have a skill set that is in demand. If you can't find a company to hire you, you could do plumbing on your own. People always have clogs and broken pipes. 
water heaters and garbage disposals wear out. I just hope these factory workers can find new employment. 2,450 people who are all going to be looking for new jobs in Michigan at the same time could present some problems. I'm afraid some of them won't be able to find new jobs that pay anywhere near what they were making. Here's some more unemployment news. I read this article on Yahoo Finance, put out by Benzinga, and written by Adam Eckert, titled, Nearly 20,000 Intel employees are heading for the exits. How salaries stack up against NVIDIA, OpenAI, Microsoft, and more. According to the author, Intel will be slashing jobs to drive cost savings across its business. Some of these are really high paying jobs. The author referenced a Business Insider report citing work visa applications submitted to the U.S. Office of Foreign Labor Certification in 2022. Intel's highest salary offer was around $263,000 sent to an engineering manager. Intel currently has around 125,000 employees, and they plan to lay off around 19,000 employees. Think about this for a moment. These are 19,000 people who own homes and cars. These are 19,000 people who support local stores and restaurants. Not all of these people are going to be able to find new employment that pays the same as what they were once making. This could impact local economies. I hope these people are not levered up with a lot of debt. It may be difficult to service that debt when paychecks and bonus checks stop coming in. Even people who are working are concerned about surviving. I read an article on Yahoo.com, put out by MoneyWise, and written by Joe Cortez, titled, This Nevada Woman Earns $5,000 Per Month, But Says She's Just One Job Loss Away From Living on the Streets of Vegas. The author of this article referenced a woman who is a homeowner in Las Vegas, who is living paycheck to paycheck. She earns over $5,000 per month but she can't make it. She is worried about foreclosure. Now, I don't know anything about this woman's financial situation. I'm guessing she must have other debt that needs to be serviced in addition to her mortgage. Many Americans have a variety of debt, such as vehicle debt, student loan debt, credit card debt, and buy now, pay later debt. This can all become unmanageable for some individuals. The author of this article referenced data from the Consumer Protection Bureau which revealed that 1.4% of Nevada homeowners are between 30 to 89 days delinquent on their mortgages. This has been trending up since the lowest point in June of 2021. Here are my thoughts. I remember how bad the Las Vegas real estate market was hit back in 2008. It went from boom to bust very quickly. I referenced two stories today about thousands of layoffs Unemployment in America is trending up. If this gets worse, there will be families who can no longer afford their homes. Some may have already tapped their home equity. Many people will be left with few options other than foreclosure. I worry about where these people are going to go, given how expensive rent is right now. If they can't afford their mortgage payments, how are they going to afford sky-high rent? I hope these people have friends or family members that can take them in. This may be the only option for some Americans in the future. What do you think about all this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Please keep in mind that everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only, and nothing in this video is financial advice or advice of any kind. If you need advice, seek advice from a qualified professional in good standing who puts your interests first and foremost. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Please also consider sharing this video with your friends. I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to also thank all of my channel members. If you would like to become a channel member, there is a link in the description beneath this video. You can read more about the different membership levels. Please also check out some of the great books that I suggest you consider reading in the description below. I've included Amazon affiliate links to these books. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Stay healthy and wealthy. I'll see everyone in the next video.